there! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am so excited to be here with you for this collaboration with a fantastic YouTuber. I really can't believe it. It's kind of like a dream come true for me, quite honestly. Her name is Kimberly and her channel is Pretty Over 50 and you've probably seen it because she has been on YouTube maybe about two and a half years and she has almost 200,000 subscribers. Her channel is growing like wildfire and there's several reasons for that and since this is a collaboration, I'm going to put her link below and I hope you'll go visit her because she's doing the same video I am, which is six amazing skincare secrets for women over 60. And some of them I think will surprise you. Stay for my video, but then go over to visit Kimberly's channel. Kimberly has an absolutely fantastic story. And quite honestly, I thought she was younger than I am. I thought I was the oldest kind of mature beauty YouTuber around here, but I heard her speaking in a video the other day that she was 64 years old. So I am only 63 right now, although in April I will be 64. So just in a few months, Kimberly, I will be joining you at that wonderful age of 64. And if you're like me, Kimberly, you never thought you'd get here. You just couldn't imagine it when you were 30 or 40 or even 50. But here we are at almost 64 years old. You are there already. And Kimberly has a fantastic story, and that is that until she was around 60, 61, 62, she was just living life, having fun, traveling. I believe she had a little bit of a travel YouTube channel, but she wasn't wearing sunblock. She wasn't doing skincare. She was just living and enjoying life. And then she looked in the mirror, as we all do at around 60. I did it myself, Kimberly. It is not fun to all of a sudden look in the mirror and go, who is that baggy, saggy woman in the mirror? And I did it too before I came to YouTube. In fact, that's what brought me to YouTube. That's one of the things that Kimberly and I have in common is that we were both kind of getting baggy and saggy at around 60 and we saw these other YouTubers, mature beauty YouTubers who were making great strides on their skincare and we both decided to try it for ourselves. And the neat thing about Kimberly is when you go to her channel, not only is she positive and uplifting and beautiful, she also has great skincare knowledge and great skincare advice. And she's proven that it works on her own skin. You should see her video about before and after on her neck. It is amazing. And in addition to being beautiful on the outside, Kimberly is a true beauty on the inside. When you see her on her channel, she is so sweet and nice and kind that at first you almost think, oh my gosh, can she be for real because she is so kind. But I am here to tell you, she reached out to me last Sunday on Instagram. And it was funny because I was sitting right here in the makeup room editing a video and I see this Instagram notice come across that says, Kimberly at Pretty Over 50 would like you to call her. And quite honestly, I am still working full time and so I do a video a week and it's really tough to work full time and keep my YouTube channel going. And I do have an Instagram and a Twitter and a Facebook, but really just to announce videos. In fact, when I first saw her message come across, I thought, oh my gosh, do I have to do something to get this message? But I went there and got her number and called her and she was so sweet and kind and welcoming. And quite honestly, I had wanted to do a collaboration video with her and this is a great chance for me to get to know her better and for you all to get to know her better as well. So anyway, I have gone on way too long about Kimberly, but she is really fabulous and I hope you'll pay her a visit. Okay, let's get into my six amazing skincare secrets for women over 60. And the first one is exfoliation. You know, when we get to be 50 or 60, our skin does not turn over the way it used to. In fact, it slowed down maybe four or five times to the rate at which our skin cells were turning over when we were in our 20s and 30s. So ladies, we really have to give our skin a little bit of help in turning over. And the way we do that is exfoliation. And this is a fabulous little product, one of the many ways I use to exfoliate my skin. This is the Nip Plus Fab Glycolic Fix Night Pads. And these are just little white pads. And in just a few moments, I'll show you my results in 30 days using these. They're just little white glycolic acid soaked pads. You rub them across your face. They're a little bit scruffly, so they have a rough texture. You do it down your neck too, and it does burn just a little bit, not a whole lot. It, it tingles, I guess I would say, and I think beauty is pain sometimes, so a little bit of burn isn't a bad thing. I've been using these about every other night on my face, and then I always use them on my hands as well, because ladies, our hands age too. But let me show you my results after 30 days I call this my little glow jar because I think it really brings on the glow. And here's my before and after pictures. There I am in July of this year before using the pads. 
And there I am about a month later after having used the pads for 30 days. And as you can see, my skin texture just looks better. It looks like the pores are even a bit smaller. And there's just a glow to my skin that I really didn't have 30 days before. And I credit that to the exfoliating power of these little pads. And I will tell you in that video, I had blue contacts in the after picture. And that's why they looked a little bit different. Another great exfoliator that I've started experimenting with, I really like. And this is the Tatcha the Rice Polish Deep. And I got this recently at the Sephora sale. And I heard about this from another great YouTuber. She is a YouTuber who is like 70 years old and she is young and beautiful looking. You wouldn't believe it. But she's also a makeup artist who specializes in doing makeup for us more mature women, shall we say. And her name is Elise Markham Johns. And there is a picture of her there. Absolutely a beautiful lady. And her videos have been very helpful for me in giving me great tips to kind of lighten up on my makeup and make it a little more youthful. Let me know in the comment section if you think this lighter touch is doing me any favors. I really feel like it is. For instance, I don't have heavy eyeliner on now. Elise mentioned that sometimes it's good just to use a darker eyeshadow as eyeliner. And I've been doing that. And I really like that. Thank you, Elise. But anyway, she recommended this Tatcha Exfoliating Rice Polish and I have been using this and I love it. It is absolutely wonderful. I'm not going to pour it out but basically it's a little white set of grains here. You pour it into your hand, mix it with just a little bit of water, it forms a paste and then you just scruffle it all over your face and your neck and the backs of your hands for about 60 seconds. Then you rinse it off with water and it just exfoliates your skin beautifully. If you're 60 plus and you're not yet exfoliating your skin, it may be something you want to try. My second amazing skincare secret for women over 60 is cosmetic derma rolling. And I have been doing this at least once a week, if not twice, and I'm absolutely loving it. And what this is, it's a cosmetic depth derma roller. And they used to say that using such little short needles, and these are not long needles at all. I used to use a 0.5 needle, needle, which you should only use about once a month. But this is called a cosmetic depth derma roller. And as you can see, it's just a little roller there and it has real needles in it, but they're only 0.25 millimeters deep. It used to be the thought that cosmetic derma rolling with these short needles really didn't do your skin that much good. Maybe this just helped your skincare ingredients absorb a little better. That is until a book came out by Dr. Lance Setterfield, MD. And you know I must have wanted to know about derma rolling because this book is nearly $80 on Amazon. But I did purchase it because I do use derma rolling. And since you are rolling needles on your face, you better be sure that you're doing it right so you avoid the risk of scarring. And the neat thing about the cosmetic depth derma rollers is there's almost no risk of scarring at all. And in this book, Dr. Lance Setterfield actually found that those shorter cosmetic depth derma rollers do produce wonderful results over time. And here's the before and after that he gave. This woman who is 54 years old was treated with products for two years along with a 0.2 millimeter derma roller for 10 months. And look at the difference in her skin. As you can see, she has deep wrinkles all over her skin in the left picture, the before picture. And then 10 months later, all of those wrinkles are very much softened and many of them are even about gone. And in addition to treating fine lines and wrinkles, this little guy has also been proven to help you with sun damage. Here is another before and after picture from one of Dr. Setterfield's studies. In this picture, a 54 year old was treated with products for two years and a two millimeter derma roller for 10 months. And her UV damage score went from 135 in the before picture on the left to only 82, which is a 39% improvement. So amazingly enough, this little guy has almost no risk of scarring, but in using it, you can really combat fine lines and wrinkles, help with sun damage, and I believe it even firms my skin. And it is really proven to do that because derma rolling of any kind increases the collagen, which increases the firmness of your skin. And I'll link a video which shows you exactly how I use this derma roller in my skincare. Now my next amazing skincare secret for women over 60, love saying that, is facial yoga. And I have been doing that for about the past year. And I'll show you my before and after results in just a few minutes, but I really think it has helped for my skin. And how it all started is, 
I had a facial fat transfer. In fact, I'll go ahead and tell you real quickly what I've had done. And I will tell you, number one, I use Botox. However, as you can see, I do have wrinkles. I can wrinkle up my forehead. I use Botox across my forehead and in my crow's feet areas. I still have the Marlboro Mans though. I don't have so much Botox that those get totally obliterated. And in fact, I don't think you really can totally get rid of those lines, but it does soften them somewhat. And I've had under chin lipo, but I would not recommend that because now they have Kybella, which is just an injection. And there is a scar with under chin liposuction. And unfortunately, about seven or eight years ago, I had a fat transfer to my cheeks and most of the fat is gone now, thank the Lord, because for several years, I looked like a chipmunk. I mean, it was horrible. And basically I didn't know I was going to get a fat transfer to my cheeks. How it happened is I had had silicone breast implants and I got some arthritis type issues. In fact, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and I eventually had those silicone breast implants removed and I replaced them with my own fat, which was great. I had liposuction to my belly. They took my belly and they put it in my boobs and uh, I was really happy with the results of that. And since the doctor was using my own fat to do that breast fat transfer, I said, could you put a little bit of fat in the nasal folds? And he says, oh yes, that's included. And I thought, what does that mean? That's included. I wasn't sure what that meant. So basically I went in, I went under, I had the breast fat transfer, which worked out very well. And when I woke up, the doctor had put some fat in my nasal folds, but he had also put a lot of fat in my cheeks and I hated it. I absolutely hated it. But the one good thing about fat is that over time it does dissolve and largely the fat in my cheeks has dissolved. However, I kept getting occasional comments on my channel. You have too much filler in your cheeks. You need to stop adding filler to your cheeks. And I heard that one too many times and it kind of hurt me when people said that because they didn't know that it was an area that I didn't even want fat in and I ended up with fat there and this cheek was bigger than this cheek or one or the other, I can't remember. But I started thinking that, hey, Probably my face is a little bit fat and maybe I could pull in my cheeks a little bit, sculpt my cheeks by doing facial yoga. And so about a year and a half ago, I started face yoga. And since that time, I have found that I love it and I do it every single morning or five mornings a week down when I'm doing my exercises in the morning because I work out Monday through Friday morning and I incorporate my face yoga and also my new face use, which I'll tell you about in a few minutes, into that routine. So let me show you my 30 day before and after pictures. There I am, and actually I have a video about this, which I'll link below, but there I am in my before picture, and there I am six weeks later, I guess it's about 45 days later, and as you can see in the before picture under my eyes, it looks a little baggy and saggy. I've got quite a few lines and bags and sags down around my jowl area, and my neck has a few problems there, but in the after picture, the under eyes look firmer, the cheeks look a lot firmer, and the bags and sags around the mouth are greatly lessened. I really did appreciate that, and I even found an exercise that slims the nose, and it only takes like seven days to see results. And I'll link a video about that in the description below, but here's a quick look at the before and after picture on the nose. And as you can see in the before picture, not only are my cheeks kind of fat, but my nose is very bulbous at the end. And then in the after picture, I was able to slim the tip of my nose. I know it sounds crazy, but our noses continue to grow and they tend to get bulbous. And I was getting a big kind of bulb at the end of my nose. And I always wanted one of those cute little perky noses. And so I was so pleased that just in about a week and a half, I was able to slim down my nose and I'm still doing that exercise to this day. Now, my fourth amazing skincare tip for women over 60 is microcurrent. And I have not one, but two new faces. And I am so excited about the new face. And actually, my experience with the new face was very similar to some of yours. And that is that sometimes the changes come on so slowly and subtly that you're not really aware that change is taking place maybe until you quit. I do this routine every morning when I'm working out and it cuts the time in two from about 12 minutes if I have one new face to about five or six minutes if I have two. So I do use two. I sit in front of my little exercise mirror and I use the new face gel and I just kind of go to it. And microcurrent uses low voltage electricity in your skin. It tingles a little bit and sometimes you can't even feel it. So don't worry that it's going to hurt or anything like that. It doesn't hurt, but you can sometimes feel the little tingles in your skin. And what it does, it slightly firms the muscles of your face, tightens the skin, 
and it releases something called ATP, which is a chemical that is very prevalent in youthful skin. And once you hit 60, 63 years old like me, the level of ATP production in our skin has really slowed down. And so this microcurrent really helps kind of bring on the glow. And I started this and I had wonderful results after 30 days. And I even did a video, which I will link below. But quite honestly, once you have the changes, you kind of think, oh, maybe I always look like this. You know, I don't have time to do this. And at that time I only had one. So it was taking me 12 minutes a day to do the workout. So I quit for a while. And what brought me back to the new face about a year ago, and I have never stopped doing it since then, is something that happened. I was going on my way, actually I was going to Ulta, and I just happened to look in the rear view mirror after having quit using the new face for maybe a couple of months. And I looked in the mirror and I said, oh my goodness, who is that haggy old lady in the mirror? What has happened to my face? It had just fallen. I had jowls, I had wrinkles, I had little bags under my eyes. My, my hooded eye, I have one really hooded eye, it was really being more hooded. And, and I thought, what happened to my skin? And I realized that I had stopped using the new face. And let me show you a picture that kind of illustrates that. In the first picture, it was July of 2018, I had just started using the new face for 30 days and there I am after 30 days, and then there I am after quitting the new face for two months. And as you can see in the before picture, just the tone of my skin looks younger and more dewy and more fresh. And then in the after picture, everything just kind of has a pallor to it. My skin looks gray. It doesn't look like it has good circulation. Look at the hooded eye in the after picture, whereas in the before picture, you can barely see the hooded eye. Also, the under eye bags are a lot more noticeable in the after picture. My lips look smaller and more shrunken and my jawline is really getting slacker. I realized that I needed to keep doing the new face. Not only was it firming my skin, it was bringing on a youthful glow. And I think that as long as I use the new face, I can keep that glowing skin. And my sixth amazing skincare secret for women over 60 is to remember your body skin. And right now you can't see it because it's the middle of winter here, but in spring and summer, I often wear sleeveless tops and a lot of women have asked me, how do you keep your arm skin looking so good? And right now is a perfect time for you to start preparing your arms and your legs for that spring and summer weather, which will be coming. And I have two wonderful lotions here, which I have used for years. This one is the Alpha Skin Care 12% Glycolic Acid Renewal Body Lotion. And I basically use this every morning after I get out of the shower. And quite honestly, I really don't like the feel of lotions on my body skin, but I make myself do it because as we get older, our skin gets thinner unless we take care of it. And it probably gets thinner anyway. So it is a health issue in addition to a beauty issue to really nourish your skin. And the great thing about this glycolic acid type lotion is it is peeling off the top few layers of your skin. It is helping your body slough off those old dead skin cells, all that darker skin, those H spots, that kind of thing. It just helps you uncover newer, glowier skin on your arms and your legs. And this is the big powerhouse kahuna. I love this lotion and I got the idea from Melissa55. She says she uses this on her arms and hands and it does a beautiful job of really making your arms and hands beautiful. And I have to agree with her. This is the Glytone Exfoliating Body Lotion. It's a 17.5% glycolic acid and it is a strong acid. So don't be thinking you're going to put this on your face or that you're going to use it every single night on your body skin because you're bound to get some redness and definitely some irritation. I would start this maybe once a week on you know, your arms or your legs and your hands. It does a beautiful job on the backs of your hands. This little red finger that I always have has nothing to do with this lotion. Basically, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis years ago and I don't have it anymore. I don't have any pain at all, but I do have a little red finger as a lingering reminder. But anyway, I'm going to link all of these products below the video and if you really want to start getting your skin ready for spring and summer, you can't go wrong with either of these, but do be careful with the Glytone. Okay, my sixth skincare secret for those of us over 60 is good nutrition and good health habits in general. And these are things like stopping smoking. And you guys, you've got to stop smoking. If you care about your skin, not to mention your heart and your lungs, 
You really do need to stop smoking. When I was in my early 20s, I did smoke. I didn't quit until I married my husband. It was a condition of our getting married that he wanted me to quit smoking, which I did. And just when I wanted to start smoking again, about two weeks after we got married, we realized we were pregnant, so I could not start smoking. But I worked at a holistic health center when I was that age, and they showed us a video of someone who had nice skin, and then they smoked one cigarette, and they did an x-ray and they showed before and after there was blood flowing freely all underneath the skin and then after one cigarette all those small capillaries just shut down so basically every time you smoke a cigarette you are cutting off the good blood and good nourishment to your skin and that's why old smokers look so bad quite honestly so don't smoke and really limit drinking I personally quit drinking 22 years ago, 22 years ago. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. But even if you don't specifically need to quit, cutting down will really help your skin look better. I think it's one reason my skin has aged well. Also, I do take collagen peptides every morning, and this is hydrolyzed collagen, and I'll link some studies below the video. And basically, hydrolyzed collagen is they take long bands of collagen out of pigs or cows, and I think they even have some vegetable collagen, and they cut it apart into smaller chains. They hydrolyze it is what it is called. And there are some studies that are showing now that when you ingest oral collagen that is hydrolyzed, that those little hydrolyzed molecules of collagen actually end up showing in your skin. And my husband and I both take a scoop of this in coffee in the morning, and I learned from another good YouTuber, Dr. Brad Stanfield, that he felt this science research collagen was the best, most reliable collagen, so that's what we have been taking. It's a little pricey, I think it's about $35 a jar, but it does last a long time. And I also use a whole range of supplements for my skin. And if you're interested in seeing a video about my skincare supplements, I would be glad to show those to you. But the first I take is MSM, and it is a long word here that I can't even say, methyl sulfone something methane. But anyway, I take two tiny little scoops of this in water in the morning, and this MSM has been scientifically proven to help your joints. If you've got knee pain or hip pain, it has really been shown to decrease that pain, and it has also been shown to thicken the collagen in your skin. And I also take vitamin C for my skin as well. And one of the other supplements that I take is the Source Natural Skin Eternal Supplement with DMAE, lipoic acid, and C-ester. DMAE is a skin firmer that comes from sardines and shellfish, and when you combine it with lipoic acid and C-ester, it has been scientifically proven to thicken skin, to firm it up, and to reduce the fine lines and wrinkles. And I can't say for sure that this is helping, but this is my third bottle, and I plan to keep purchasing it. Now, I know this video was supposed to be only six amazing skincare secrets for those over 60, but I'm going to give you a bonus tip, and that is shaving your face. And I know this video is getting long, so I won't really belabor this point. I won't spend too much time on it, but I did a video recently that became super viral, like got 500,000 views, something like that, in about two or three weeks. And that was a video where I said that I shaved my face for the past 35 years, which is true. And I shared the results, which is, I think that this shaving has exfoliated my skin and cut down on fine lines and wrinkles down in this area. And I will tell you that although I do use Botox up here, there's no Botox that can be used down here. This is my legitimate skin. Everything is just natural. And I really think that shaving all these years has helped gently exfoliate my skin. I do it every morning in the shower, and basically in all those 35 years, my hair didn't get dark and coarse. I still have the peach fuzz when I quit shaving, and I still have a few little wiry hairs. Those haven't changed either. And I just use a men's Mach 3 razor, and I do have a video about face shaving, and I will link that above, hopefully for you, and also below the video. But if you're a little bit nervous about the idea of shaving your face with a men's razor, and for some reason, my video was very controversial and a lot of people said, you are crazy, you're telling women to shave their face, that's terrible. But for me, it really hasn't been a problem. But if you're nervous to get out your husband's razor and go to it, I have also been using this Sonic Smooth 2-in-1 Sonic Dermaplaning System. And this is basically another little straight razor. You can't cut yourself with it, but you basically use it by holding your skin down over dry skin and going over your skin. 
And I like this because I don't like to shave my forehead with a men's razor because I'm worried because there's not much fat there and it just feels like it could nick me. So I use this especially up here. And one of the things I like best about shaving my face, either with a men's razor or the Sonic Smooth, is that when you are shaving your face and getting off those little fine downy hairs, you would not believe how smooth your foundation applies. It absolutely improves the look of your skin. So if you're afraid to use this, I will link this one below the video and this is absolutely wonderful. I also like this for shaving the hairs between your eyebrows. Well, that was a look at my six amazing skincare secrets for women over 60. And if you're not yet a subscriber, and especially if you're visiting me from Kimberly's channel, I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great. And again, this video is in collaboration with Kimberly of Pretty Over 50, and I hope you will follow the link below and visit her video about this. In fact, I can't wait to see it because she's a pretty smart lady, and I can hardly wait to see her video about her six amazing secrets for women over 60. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and this time I'm not going to be reading from any cards. I'm going to be explaining something that happened to me and also mentioning something on Audible that I heard, which is an Eckhart Tolle book called Transcending the Ego, and it's only about an hour and a half long, and my sister recommended it to me. She has been really following Eckhart Tolle recently, and I have started listening to him too, and his information is amazing. Well, here is what happened. Basically, I told you earlier in the video that I had wanted to do a collab with Kimberly, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but I reached out to her a couple of months ago. I commented on one of her videos, and I said, I would love to do a collab with you, and, you know, I never heard anything. And in my mind, I started thinking, oh gosh, she probably doesn't like me. She probably doesn't think I'm any good. She doesn't want to do a collab with me. And I had this horrible thing built up in my mind. Well, then when she so kindly called me out of the blue on Sunday, we were talking about things and I mentioned that I was glad to do a collab with her because I had reached out to her in a comment and she said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I would have so done a collab with you. I didn't even see it. So basically, I created a story in my head to make myself miserable, kind of miserable, when it was not based in reality, it was just a story. And that's the wonderful thing about Eckhart Tolle's book on transcending the ego. One of the main things it tells us is to stop creating stories in our mind about things. Things happen and we just need to observe them and just kind of look at them and accept them, but we should not create stories. And I will link his Audible book below the video because I think we women sometimes are guilty of creating scenarios in our mind. And it's so funny. I think there should be a book, How to Think Like a Man, because my husband is just pretty happy and content. If he's got food and water and, you know, a little bit of entertainment now and then, he's a happy camper. And he also doesn't listen to what a friend would say or something and create some kind of a story or scenario around it. He accepts it at face value. And so friends, just for today, let's take a tip from Eckhart Tolle. Let's live in the moment. Let's accept what happens. And let's try not to create stories that make us miserable. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.